Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Uh, this will be a general message, so it won't resonate with every Gemini. Um, I hope that it resonates with you. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, Gemini, let's jump into this. Um, and I'm kind of really going into this blindly because I don't have any Geminis around me right now. Uh, you girls are too feisty for me. Lots of fun. And we go out and we be fly. We, oh yeah, we turn all the hands. Uh, but, uh, woo, y'all keep up so much drama. But, um, lots of fun, okay? But, it, you know, I'm not saying it's all Gemini. Um, let's see what's going on. All right. Let's see what's going on for you this week. So it could be some changes around your career. Uh, it's like maybe you even have to, um, rework or, you know, refocus or kind of like revamp yourself. Uh, you may be interviewing um, you're all up in your head and it's keeping you stuck from seeing that there's an opportunity here for you. Um, maybe with a Cancerian person, um, some of you feel stuck here, uh, maybe because you're relying on someone else's finances um, but you want, you want that to change. You want to have a change, a shift here. Yeah. Nine of cups. Um, you might want some independence, some, some luxury for yourself. Um, some of you might even be trying to go back to school, trying to have a change of journey here. You were on one path and now it's like, okay, well, that's not working out or it didn't pan out in terms of exactly what I wanted, like long-term stability. Or I'm not happy with it. I'm discontent with the outcome. Um, some of you may even be saying, I need to go back to school. Um, this talks about law. You could be in law. Um, it, it just talks about learning. Um, and it talks about ethics too. So, um, you, yeah, you may be saying I need to go back to school so I can have a change of journey, right? I need to go back and get more expertise in a particular field. And you may be talking to someone who could, um, be a mentor for you, or they could be an expert in the field, but it says that you're looking for answers with, you know, outside of yourself, but the answer is really within you. You know the answer, but you're looking for validation, outside of yourself oh my god um the cards just flipped out of my hand it was way too many but um if they want to present themselves again i i guess they will uh the will of fortune yeah all right so um in order to change the course of your destiny it's it, and maybe spirit is helping you with this they want you to start to look at past experience, especially the ending of past experience. And you need to transform that. You need to change that in some fashion, in some manner. This might even be um, a cycle in your life in terms of you leaning on others. Or, yeah, in terms of you leaning on others, other people's money or resources. Um, or... It could be you using others, other connections or something of, of that manner. They want you to be more independent. You have two cards of nine. I talked about independence, okay? Um, but something, it has to change here or it will change. Um, you could be having a career change, job change, and it could be happening rather quickly here. Two weeks, three weeks. Um, notice here and... and and moving into another, and you might even be going back to school just that soon, or at least making your mind up to go back to school to have that resolve, uh, to, to go back to get higher education, to learn something. Some of you could be in the medical 
field. Um, you have big plans and big goals and you're really focused on getting those accomplished. Uh, it just says that you, you have to... You have to look at your own personal philosophy that you built up around yourself. Um, you may have some walls here. You may have some uh, boundaries that you're not willing to kind of let crumble here. Um, you're not vulnerable. Um, and some of you just are not open to change. But you want change. Let's get the advice for my Geminis. The hangman. You get, so this is about letting go, seeing something from a different perspective, asking yourself the question, why haven't I had what I exactly want? It's because you're holding on to something else and you won't see something differently. Uh, Six of Pentacles talks about uh, giving and receiving or the lack thereof. Maybe something being so one-sided. I don't know. The other person's resources always needing to lean on uh, two of swords. I don't know this how this is how someone is being with you also because the energy can be reversed. Uh, talks about giving to two different uh, two different entities or parties or being divided and having a divided effort. Two of swords, making a choice to be divided uh, in your resources. Um, your uh in your work habits you you're divided uh maybe even in your sense of usefulness maybe some of you even want to do like some charitable work you just want you want to have more fulfillment on an emotional level to bring in resources income you don't want to just be doing work just making the money but not feeling like you are making a difference. You want to get on your purpose. Two of Swords, yeah, you're really looking over your money, uh, you, your income, definitely your daily routines, what you value here and your work ethic. Looking over your job and seeing that maybe there's a change. You need to have a, this is actually making a choice over love or money or what you love to do and money. Um, a life altering choice in terms of partnerships and unions too. Some of you could be in partnerships, business partnerships, or an actual union that is a partnership. Um, you got to make some real choice that brings you a lot of anxiety because it could be separation or departure, or you're seeing things differently. The dynamic has changed. Your wisdom and your philosophy about this whole dynamic has changed. Um, something that's been out of balance, off whack, out of whack, off balance, and it's time for justice to come in. It needs to be the the balancing of the scales. It needs to be equality. Uh, something about cause and effect. This happened, so now th this is the effect. Um, they want you to look at the root of the issue and not just the branches, but what was the root here? Um, someone could be apologizing or um, you could be apologizing or there's going to be a debt repaid it's here too. Or if someone owes you money or you owe someone else money. Let's see what this is all about this week. Very interesting week. Um, windfall and motivation. Very nice. All right, uh, it could be a windfall of good luck with the will of fortune, uh, money, energy, motivation. Yeah, it's like you are now motivated to see something through or change your, the course of because something ended. Now you're on to something else. The cause and the effect here, right? Welcoming the new. Something new is happening for you. Maybe you're shifting your focus and going into a new direction, gracefully aging. Some of you. This is from the inside out. Some of you are learning that you have to come up with better ways of operating, communicating your interpersonal relationships and how you come off to others. End of an era. Maybe you are ending a job, a relationship. Something is changing within your family dynamic. Someone's moving in, moving out, new dog, new baby, new car, new home. Something is 
changing. Uh, family changes though, so it, it just doesn't affect you, but it affects a uh, family unit. If there is one, you know, to, if you have a family. Let's get the angel answers here. See, what do you want to tell Gemini this week? Okay, so you have a no answer. Okay, so we clarify our yes and no answers here at the channel. So we'll do the ask for help from others. Right, with that hermit card. Get some expertise on the matter, okay? Get a good sounding board. Have great counsel. Um... The sum total of our bad decisions is not just us most times, but it's horrible, bad counsel. Having people around you or no one around you to really be a better or great sounding board, okay? So make sure you have good counsel. All right, trust. Maybe it's gone out the window. Maybe you need to trust someone. Uh, maybe your judgment. Maybe the negative swirling thoughts always... Are there maybe you always think people have an ulterior motive i don't know because that's the situation will improve they want you to look for a sign okay um so let's clarify the no answer that we have we have a no here what is this no answer about for the gemini this week what is this no answer for gemini what is this no answer for gemini okay Ten of Pentacles. Um, all right, so it might have something to do with career, your long-term goals, your structure. Maybe there is no structure. Maybe you need to go talk to an expert, your father, some men in your life, or there's no structure in terms of uh, men, or there's no long-term goal fulfillment with a particular man or a man in your life, right? There, Maybe there is no structure, long-term goal fulfillment, because there is no one, or this person is not honoring their commitment. They're not making a commitment to you. Or or no, maybe you can have long-term goal fulfillment here with this person. Or, or And they will commit. Let's see. Could be dealing with the Libra, Pisces. You got a lot of people here. The Empress. Wow. All right. So you have a no answer. But it looks like if you say no to one thing, and you, you go to another, you're going to have a lot of fulfillment. This is something that you'll be doing possibly for the rest of your life. Three of Pentacles, yes. Um, you might be in the communicating or communication sector. Um, or you need to get, get in some networking social groups. Um and pick others' minds about what's going on with you while wow. in the sun card. Uh, some of you could be pregnant or you will be pregnant or you will have a family. Um, if you say no to one thing, you definitely have a yes, several yeses to something else. Or there is a particular person in your life that maybe you are saying no to, but the cards want you to say yes because there's long-term goal fulfillment here. Uh, there's positivity and joy. So very nice for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. But they want you to have better or better counsel and, and speak to a masculine energy that you trust about what's going on with you. Gemini, do you feel like this reading resonated with you? Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text a question to the number below pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that, guys. Have a really great week. Take care.